new technical rules for 2012 to do with the exhausts and the nose design have an indirect effect on how the tyres are used. The big step between the nose and the chassis, or even a continuous body design, can alter the fundamental balance of the car. This is because the aerodynamic setup now changes, and with it, the basic way that the car feels. The banning of blown exhausts, which used to increase downforce at the rear, in favour of a new exhaust outlet higher up on the car reduces downforce and so pushes the centre of pressure forwards. The greater proportion of force in the front axle means that there is better turning and superior driving precision in corners, as well as improved medium speed to high speed direction changes. But with the forces moving more towards the front of the car, a weaker rear end means that the rear tyres have to work even harder to avoid sliding through corners, as well as combating wheel spin under acceleration. One important aspect is how a driver adapts to a car setup that is becoming more difficult and extreme. The driving style needed to control the rear during periods of oversteer and wheel spin puts plenty of stress onto all the tyres, which translates into higher working temperatures. New profiles, designed to distribute stresses more evenly across the entire tyre footprint, even in extreme conditions, compensate for the latest technical restrictions. At the same time, they work perfectly with individual driving styles that are increasingly more sophisticated and aggressive.